We're here today to try to correct a problem with our Sharp Aquos television. This model is the Sharp LC32GP1U. And the problem is, is that when we turn the set on from a cold start, we get some stripes on the television. So we're going to recreate the issue and we're going to attempt a factory reset to see if we can clear up the problem. So we're going to go ahead and turn the set on without turning on the set top box. So we're just going to power on the TV. Here we go. We have a little bit of daylight coming in on the right hand side of the picture. Okay, here we here we go. Okay, so this is looking what it looks like without the signal from the cable company yet. I'm going to add the signal from the cable company so you can see uh, the picture, how the picture is being displayed um, with, with the problem happening. Okay, so right now we have a, just a small section of the center of the screen um, that we can view. And, but you can see the rest of it, the right hand side, I would say maybe 40% of the right hand side and maybe 30% of, of the left hand side is a combination of striping and, and streaks. So the step we're going to take is a factory reset to see if that solves the problem. So I'm going to go ahead with that and try to bring up the menu. And as you can see, the menu bar is um, behind the bars. So I'm not really sure how we're going to navigate for a factory reset. So let's see here if we can okay there's something called setup okay let's go ahead with that input whoops have to go back menu oh I see the reset there it is at the bottom reset there it is we're gonna hit enter I'm not really sure what's supposed to happen. Something is hidden. Well, we're... Okay, I'm just going to hit enter and see. Now we're back to reset. This just seems to be... Uh, okay. All right, let's try this. Trying a few more things. Okay, here we're in the reset. It's resetting. Okay, it turned off. It's turning on. Okay, so that's the factory reset. And let's see when we add the, um, the cable box signal. Or is that the input? I must have the wrong input. Um, input. Okay. Whoops. Okay. Let's turn that volume down. Okay, so factory reset really didn't do much. 
So I guess we will ask Sharp for a little more assistance on this. We're willing to replace something inside the TV if, if we knew what it was. But anyway, thank you. Uh, this is um, a Sharp factory reset for a set that's having trouble with the screen. Sharp model LC32GP1U. Thank you. Okay, hello, we're back just to show you how the television has partially cleared up after the set has warmed up a little bit. So this is um, after turning the set on and off uh, a few times the picture will partially clear up and but what remains is a section on the left hand side of the screen um, which looks like a black bar on the right and then just to the left of that is uh, some striping you know jumping stripes I really don't know what to call it and it's this part that's very hard to get rid of after the set has been on for maybe one to two to sometimes even three hours after a series of turning the set on and off the picture will complete itself of course we'd rather just have the set turn on like and fully come on that would be of course what would be the best but we're just trying to illustrate the problem and find out what we can do to fix it thank you okay so we've turned the set on and off and the problem remains I'm going to try turning it on and off again to see if maybe it will clear up so we're going to turn it off and there's a click that's going to happen right about now. Okay, so let's say we're going to give it 30 seconds before we turn it on again. Oh, by the way, the set was purchased in the year 2007. So um, the set is seven years old. And the problem started to occur, I would say, maybe four years ago. So because we are able to get the picture working again after several tries and the picture looks good, we have had a hard time throwing this one out. Okay, we're going to turn it on and see if the problem has corrected itself. No. Okay, well, it'll probably take a few more tries. But um, maybe we'll drop by our local TV repairman and see what he has to say. Thank you. This is the Sharp Aquos troubleshooting video. Thank you. Our Sharp LC32 GP1U, which is experiencing a picture problem. The set has been on. We left it on. We went out. For a few hours we're back. We're going to now try turning off the TV to see if it will correct itself. We're going to turn it off now. Here we go. And we're just going to wait until we hear the click, which means the set is really off. Okay, there it is, and we're going to give it about 30 seconds. So we'll just pause this and we'll come back in just a minute. And we're back. We're going to turn the set on now. So here we go. The camera should, video camera should come into focus. Okay. Why isn't our camera focusing. 
Okay, there, there it goes. Okay, so now we have banding on both sides again. So, as you can see, it, the problem continues. So, thank you. We may continue the test later. Okay, we're about to turn it on again to see. Usually repeating this several times. We'll clear it up. Here we go. Okay, we still don't really have it. Okay. Later. Okay, we're back and as you can see the picture is now clear. It was turned on and off several times and the banding clears itself up. So the TV is just fine at this point. Now if we turn it off, the problem will reoccur. So a sort of low-tech solution would be to just leave this, the TV on all the time. Um, or we would like to find out what part needs to be replaced and we would be fine with replacing it ourselves if we knew what to get. So this has been a test of the Sharp LC32GP1U and we look forward to fixing the problem. Thank you. Bye.